Hello, Manuel here. Uh, today we are talking about the new team associated their C10 uh, F6, which is uh, the new Formula One from uh, Team Associated. Uh, team Associated has a really uh, a long history of uh, on road cars, uh, especially uh, pan cars, uh, 112 and uh, 110 scale, and, uh, and some touring cars uh, like the TC uh, series. But uh, it is for for them the first uh, electric uh, F1, and uh, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, car uh, that we will review uh, uh, today. Uh, the for for the kit, uh, you'll have in the kit uh, all the the chassis, no elect no electronics, uh, no no bodies, no tires. But you have a front wing and a rear wing. Uh, for the front wing, unfortunately, I brought this one. The the the, the front wing was in the kit, um, and I broke on the on this part uh, on the test about uh, maybe seven or eight run. Uh, I, it, it cut and the, and the T. Oh, so I replaced with an old uh, Montec uh, front wing. Uh, maybe it's a uh, it's uh, bad luck. We'll see. Uh, for this um, this review, we'll talk first about uh, the build of uh, this car. Don't uh, um, uh, we'll talk about the f go to the front and then the rear. So for the front, uh, the front wing, as I say, uh, is compatible with all uh, front wing in the in the market. So we'll have uh, you can um, in this example take uh, Montec, you can take Tamiya's, X-rays. Uh, but the front wing it was uh, was really on the 17. Uh, uh, how would I say that uh, 17 uh, rules of the Formula One one, uh, one scale? Uh, so it was uh, it was really really nice, but it will <coughs> a little bit weak. Sorry. So uh, we continue uh, the, the test with uh, with the Montec uh, for the front. Uh, uh, arms, so we have uh, lower and upper arms which uh, are carbon fiber. Uh, for the caster and uh, the caster and and the camber, yes, uh, we have bushings. Uh, we can uh, you can see there uh, the camber bushing. Uh, uh, underneath, there. I don't know. We we'll see on the video. So you have a uh, different setup. You can go for the camber to one degree to two point five degree, and for the caster, go to three degrees to twelve degrees. The the value that in that recommended in the kits are one point five degrees for the camber and uh, 9 degrees for the caster. So basically I tried first the the kit setup and then I'll talk, uh, I'll talk later about the different setup uh, I have tested. So for the um, for the group now you have uh, here you can see uh, we have a stop here can be can be set up through the front arm, the top arm, um, and you can put under under the crew. Yes, you can put. Don't know. See here, uh, some aluminum bolster. Uh, under kit, it was two millimeters, I think, and uh, you can adjust uh, the droop here. With uh, with this uh, with this bolster, you can make maybe one millimeter if you want more droop, or two millimeters, extra extra. Um, 
that's all I can say for the setup for the um, the toe of course we have tumbuckles here uh, it's okay no problem for that we have um, a, a bell crank here uh, there are two bell cranks, different bell cranks in the in the kit. There are a short one and a long one uh, that that uh, uh, permit can to adjust the the Ackerman of the tumbuckle, so we can change uh, uh, some steam rate with that, uh, making more soft or more more uh, more aggressive. Uh, you can also, uh, you can see there is a, um, a support for the uh, servo steering which is floating or can be mounted uh, fixed. You have uh, two, um, two different positions for, uh, for this uh, setup. Uh, and I've tried uh, both and uh, the floating is quite okay on the, on the asphalt track. Uh, it makes uh, the car more predictable. But uh, I guess the the, um, the fixed one uh, will give more steering. So it's uh, it's an interesting setup to make. Um, and you have in the kit the servo saver. So as I say, no electronics. So uh, you have to put your own. Uh, low profile servo uh, for the the center of the chassis you'd have two here uh, how do it they called um, it is a chassis brace so you have two chassis brace uh, and then you can uh, really uh, uh, fix your uh, your battery you have the the place for your battery. I don't know what you see here. Okay, we have a, a blocker here. So you can put on the on the on the kit. You can put the battery transversal or uh, or inline. Uh, I, I always choose transversal on uh, on that kind of that kind of uh, chassis with links. I think it works. Uh, it was better. Uh, all is about uh, you know the grip uh, for the rear uh, for the rear tie, so it's it's always always better uh, with a transversal uh, uh, position of the battery. Uh, you will have, of course, two uh, two links, and uh, you can see. Two uh, two dampers here and uh, one central damper. The the setup uh, I don't remember. It's four hundred CST, something like that. Uh, uh, but it's uh, it's really a good uh, good starting point for the for the setup. It makes the car really predictable. So it's okay. The spring okay too. Uh, no, no big deal with that. Uh, no issues. Uh, the damper uh, is ten uh, thousand. Yes, ten thousand CCST. Uh, I um, I've tested the. Uh, uh, I think thirty thousand, which is uh, which is great too. Makes more uh, more front. Gives you more uh, more steering. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice setup to to test. Uh, the good part, uh, the interesting part, is the pivot here, uh, which is not like uh, we usually see on the on this type of pan car. It's a it's a it's very uh, it's an arch. When we can uh, place the pivot, so uh, you don't have to uh, tighten the screws and uh, adjust really, really well the the pivot. In this case, you you set up this arch, and uh, it really, really, really uh, works well. 
I don't know what what to call this. Um, it's called. It's called. It's called. Pivot brace. Okay. It's called pivot brace. I have the the manual on the on the side to to uh, to look at the name of the pieces because I'm not familiar with the uh, English test. As you see, uh, for the rear, uh, you have uh, of course uh, two motor mounts, aluminum motor mounts, and uh, uh, the um, and you can adjust uh, the ear. You can adjust the length, um, the wheelbase. Sorry with uh, some uh, rear axle height adjuster uh, you can so adjust the, the rear height and also the wheelbase with the same uh, pieces it's a, it's a bushing when we, when you put the the plunged bearing and the motor mount is uh, is really low as you can see you have two screws, the rear really, uh, really low on the chassis. Makes the, the motor as uh, as low as it, it can be. And for the the rear, sorry, uh, you'll have uh, the wing uh, support, which is of course. As you can see, you can uh, you'd have a uh, three or four position, and a nice wing. Uh, of course, you can have uh, you have three position for the the top uh, the top. I don't know top wing. Uh, so you can have more or less downforce as you want. So uh, for this test, uh, I let you with a quick video uh, for the test I did on an on asphalt track here in France. So I, uh, I check you later to talk about this test. Okay, so uh, as you see, the car is uh, is doing well on the, on the track. Uh, the the setup kit, uh, the kit setup <coughs> is uh, is really okay. I am not complain with that. Uh, maybe maybe a lack of um, how can I say that a lack of entry grip for the front. Uh, it was uh, a bit under steering when uh, when I uh, entered the uh, 
the quick uh, uh, the way on the, on the quick uh, corners but it's okay uh, the car has feel very very comfortable with that uh, very predictable uh, so uh, maybe you can adjust some uh, some maybe caster and camber to give more uh, front you can of course uh, tighten the damper or the, the springs to to adjust this uh, this effect but uh, really the 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 kit setup is is really good mm. the th uh, one thing with the front uh, the upper arms here or the bushing here uh, in the kit when you mount them they are very very tight so you need to uh, maybe use a uh, Sandpaper or drill like I've, I've done, uh, and turn the the ball in the bushing, but you have to be careful. But because the ball are uh, in plastic, uh, not uh, not metal, so you can uh, you can adjust. Or maybe it's the the front arm was too tight for the bushing. Uh, maybe it's the bushing itself. But uh, the fact is that uh, at the build, the front arm are are really uh, are not free. And you have to to send maybe uh, a little to 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 add this free uh, movement and have a, a good steering. So it's uh, it's uh, one uh, the the only issue I have in the, in the building kit. In the building um, uh, step, sorry. Um, for the rest, it's okay. Uh, I've not broken anything except the, the front wing, as I said, uh, which is a, which is a pity because it's really really nice for the front wing. Uh, but you know, uh, front wing always uh, like bumper for F1, so it happens. Uh, for the rest, uh, what can I say? It's, it's really a good car. Works really well. The diff is really smooth, and uh, uh, the it responds uh, really, uh, really good. It's a, it's a good car. Uh, for the um, for this test, I have tested with a uh, with a Montec body, but you can also use, uh, of course, uh, uh, lots of uh, market uh, bodies uh, like Portoform or uh, Tamiya's or etc. etc. Uh, you have to to be careful uh, because it's. Uh, it's a large body, of course, uh, so all the Tamiya's uh, wouldn't fit in. But uh, Montec is okay, uh, Protoform is okay, uh, BD Design okay, no, no problem for that. Uh, same thing for the front and the rear wing, you can have aftermarket wings, uh, no problem. Uh, Team Associated will certainly uh, have option for this kit, so uh, like uh, I suppose soon uh, uh, an aluminum uh, chassis will come, and uh, some different things like turn vocals, uh, titanium turn vocals maybe. Uh, we'll see that soon. So uh, uh, it's a, it's a really really good car to test, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, driving it. Uh, that's all I can do. I can uh, talk about this test. So um, uh, now it's time to to run. You know. Uh, of course, uh, if you want to see more videos, you can uh, you can see our YouTube channel, and uh, of course our Facebook page too, RCF1. Uh, so that's it for this uh, this review. And uh, see you next time. Bye.